So we begin. <clears throat> Forgot to say the title. Diddy Kong Racing by the Dark Prince. So we begin the evil. I came home after a night of hanging out with my best friends in the world to notice something different from my usual entrance. There was the sound of this music I've never heard before coming from the communal living room and realized, behold, it was from a video game my virgin ears were unfamiliar with. My brother and I had an N64 entertainment system. Although funnily enough, perhaps we had only one game for it. A game where you can drop baby penguins off of cliffs. <laughs> but nay, it was not that game. I laid my eyes upon a racing game with screaming animals. Whoa, what's this, my brother? I asked my brother. Oh, check the label. He replied with that, with what looked like from the corner of my eye like a, a, a stretching of the skin around his mouth. I got on my knees and examined the cartridge label. The label has what appeared to be a monkey in a vehicle on it, titled with an innocent enough font, Diddy Kong Racing. The label was only torn a bit at the end, so that's all she said. I got it at the thrift store for only five dollars. My brother started, though I barely saw his mouth move like he was a ventriloquist dummy. But then he continued. The man really wanted it gone for some reason. Maybe I can see why. I turned my head like the good boy I am, and lo and behold on the screen, my poor brother whose vessel was a tiger was barely moving, now in a sea of infinite virtual water. Well, it's all yours because I have to go make dinner now, he said and then like that was gone. I didn't feel like playing this right now because the Headroom Max incident was coming on soon for the 208th time this cycle. That night I could not sleep. I was so restless for some reason as I should be tired from hanging out with my best friends in the world. I didn't play that game after the Headroom Max incident. However, a thought then wriggled and crept into my consciousness. Maybe it... Uh, Maybe it was actually a good game, and my brother just really sucks. So, it was then decided, and I snuck out of my beautiful coffin, and slipped into the communal living room, only wearing my Quaker Oats man slippers, as he is the sponsor. I left the lights off, and turned on the entertainment system. The sound of giggling children were the only sound heard in the blanketing darkness. I had two rows of animals to choose from, though their faces were all different, completely from one another. But it was a video game, so it was probably just a weird stylistic choice. I went with what my gut and my brother chose, and that was the tiger character. He confirmed his name as I pressed A on the controller, and the screen changed. But just before it completely transitioned, I could have sworn his eyes, the both of them, turned deadly black like they were hollow after his eyes had been scooped out of his skull. But I shrugged it off. Me just starting to become weary, finally. <laughs> the next screen I was presented with three files. The first one was initialed Triple A. The next one was L-U-T, which common sense made it clear it was my brother's. And then the last one was empty, so I chose that one and named it R-A-N, RAN. Then it presumed to play in a cinematic scene of some sort, and there was an island, but the sky was blue instead of black. There was also eerily no music playing, and I couldn't move the tiger, but there were butterflies in the distance that were moving. This was likely to be a glitch, I figured, as our other game we had sometimes stopped working if you accidentally touched the cartridge or licked it, and this game was sold for $5. I shrugged my shoulders and hit the reset button. This time, however, there was no sound of giggling, and therefore no laughing or ha ha when the golden logo came up. Maybe something was wrong with the sound chip? I reckoned to myself and my Quaker Oat slippers that were trembling just a tad, oh, I won't lie from this unnaturalness of it all. The character selection came up, but the tiger was now missing. There was nothing to replace him. I merely couldn't select anything where he was as, as, as if he never existed to begin with. Okay, so I chose someone else. Someone who looked like they were full of life and probably warm inside if not so. So I chose the mouse. She said her name like the tiger did, but the tone at the end of it suggested a question, as if she was unsure. 
I pressed A again, and at that moment, I heard an unsettling piercing sound. Like a computer error that might make you think of it as trying to mimic a person's scream. It was so loud that blood was probably leaking from my ears. But I pressed on. What was extra odd was that it, it was so loud, but it was as if I didn't hear anything else in the house stare. The next screen loaded, and it was... it was... it was as if the room had frozen. My brother's file was now replaced with AAA like the first file. This had to be more than a glitch. This was all too unusual. I couldn't decide what I should do now. What would happen? So far, I haven't even been able to do any racing. But why would my brother's file be erased? At this point, I could have and should have just turned off the system altogether, acknowledging the game was just unplayable. But then why, when my brother played the game, it was seemingly normal? Was I a chosen one? Honestly, I wanted to believe in the darkness of my soul. This could all be summed up to be a malfunctioning game, and that's it. Truth be told, I did want to see what happened next. So I selected the new AAA file. For some reason, as if the game could hear my inner thoughts, the game started at a race this time. The characters were there at the race line, excluding the tiger. However, I couldn't believe in what I was seeing. My mouth dropped immediately to the floor, and I could only gaze upon the helpless horrors on the screen. All these poor animals were visually shown to be physically attached to the cars. The cars were overflowing with blood, and I could see what looks like organic tubes and intestines attaching themselves from the animals to the cars, or was it the cars to the animals? But that made no difference, for really, there were now one. Their mouths opened just like mine. And just like me, we made no audible screams from them. The camera was now set behind the mouse as a cheery voice narrated the words that came upon the screen. Get ready. Isn't this what you wanted? Go! It was truly awful. The blood was just spilling all over the floor and walls from her car. As I tried to control her, her body, her car, for the very first time in a race, how could it say, I got my wish? How sick. My mouth still wasn't closed since then, and I could probably get locked off at, at this point. But that wasn't on my mind at the moment. My character drove right into the nearest water they could find against my will of the controller. She was probably trying to end her life, her existence and suffering, and end this hellish nightmare. I could sympathize. On my end, the only part of my body that was moving was my feet, inside my Quaker Oat slippers. And I'll let you know they were full on quaking now. I don't think my eyes were even capable of blinking anymore. But I couldn't just sit there. Against my own bodily frozen muscles, I reached to turn off the system. But the game just didn't turn off. That cheerful voice from earlier appeared again, mocking me. No, no, no. Wrong way. You're not going anywhere. I ripped the cartridge out of the system. Strangely, it reset instead. Went to the character selection screen. On. It's own. For there is to be no characters to even be selected, and yet, the okay? Words came up as if something was selected. No voices were heard, as I feared the file selection was next. I attempted to turn away as much as I could. The first and second files now both said, Ha! I was at my limit. I unplugged the TV and everything finally went black. I couldn't handle anything anymore. I rose to my feet and directed myself out of the living room. Despite how unworldly and undescribable those events were just now, the more I wandered outside the game, the more it felt that's all it was. It wasn't actually real, nor had any impact to what happens outside of the screen. I squeaked along the hallway in my Quaker Oats slippers as I almost, almost walked by my brother's room. His light was on, and he was sitting up on his bed. But behind him, in blood-red words, possibly with blood, was the word, Ha! He wasn't moving. Once again, my mouth dropped down in silence. But now a single tear dropped down my face along with my jaw. Oh no, my brother! I ran up to him and hugged him, but he was no longer who he was. Just, just a, a puppet looked like him. 
I lowered him down into the bed as if to rest, and kissed his forehead. My face turned from sorrow to anger and furrowed my brow. Oh, now it's on. I was pissed. I marched down the hallway toward the living room, but not before stopping at the kitchen first and equipping a knife. Whoosh! The cat man were also there, face down, dead. Even the cats? Really? My anger rose and I was on fire metaphorically. Now I was standing in front of the TV. I plugged it back in, ready to rumble, but the game and system were off now. I bent down to turn it on and resume the hell, but on my terms. But I had to do something first. I took my fingers near where the label was ripped off and took the whole thing off with one fell swoop. Underneath the game label, written in pen, was Diddy Kong Racing in Hell. Fuck you, I stated, then turned the system on again. The fear I had was still there, but buried deep past my skin as anger and revenge was my power now and on the front lines. The game was starting. Well, that was weird. But the laughing children sounds were back and beginning like when I first booted up the game myself. The music was playing normally as it first had as well. I pressed the A button with the side of my knife, which proceeded to the character selection screen. All the characters were back. W w what was going on? But they all looked sad. It bypassed them and then went to the file selection screen. All three file selections now when read together read... Where is Ran? Hell, this was a joke. I erased them all and started a new file. I thought the game frozen once more, but then I saw a model version of myself in the game, lying down on the floor of an empty room save for also a model on an N64 with a single controller cord around my neck. My video game version of myself's eyes were open, but I was definitely dead camera zoomed into the cartridge on the in-game N64 machine, and instead of Diddy Kong racing in hell, which was there... What the fuck? Which was there, but crossed out in pen instead, and in pen again written above that was Rugrats Scavenger Hunt, in all lowercase letters. As I started into my other self's dead open eyes, that's when I realized it. I had been in hell the whole time. And that is my tale of how I have been trapped here. The end. What did you mean by my skin stretched around my mouth? <laughs> Nice try, Diddy. <laughs> <laughs>